It's a happy new year, or is it? If you're like me, you made several New Year's resolutions. I've broken all three of mine and it's still the first week in January. I'll share with you what they are because that was part of the mistake. I didn't have any accountability. I didn't share them. One was no chips for a month. Broke that on January 1st. No beer for a month. Broke that last night after pickleball. And then at least I held on to no ice cream for a month. Broke that at midnight last night. <laughs> and then I got to thinking, I'm doing it all wrong. New Year's resolutions should be believable, achievable, involve other people so there's accountability, and they should be more important than anything else, meaningful and worthwhile. I can't think of anything worthwhile for giving up Ben and Jerry's at midnight, you know? Maybe a couple pounds here and there, but other than that, it's not that meaningful. And then what am I gonna do after pickleball? Not have a beer? Gotta have a beer, right? So instead, two and a half days ago, I'm talking to Keaton, and I came up with creating a nonprofit foundation in 2023. It's meaningful, it's worthwhile. I've called a couple of people in this group already that are in. No pressure in case they change their mind. And in two and a half days, I have 25 people on board. We've already filed for a 501c3 status. I already have a CPA on board that's gonna do all the fighting, all the uh, paperwork for free. I have a bookkeeper in mind that doesn't know it yet, but he might be in this group who might be doing everything <laughs> pro bono. But it's believable, it's achievable, it's worthwhile and worthy for me to do it. And here I am already 25% of the way complete and I did that in two days, but yet I couldn't give up chips and beer. So my friends, resolutions have nothing to do with New Year's, have nothing to do with a date change. That's all arbitrary. These are things that you have been thinking about for the last quarter of last year that you said you were gonna do and you're gonna wait until New Year's Eve, then proclaim them to yourself, not too loud because you don't want anybody to hear, and so that way when you quit, like me, by January 1st, 2nd, or 3rd, you don't feel so bad. So make them, make your resolutions on any other time other than 1231 before midnight when you haven't been drinking and make them so that they're believable, achievable, worthy, worthwhile, and involve other people. Get other people involved. Then you have accountability. Then you're serving more than just yourself. And if you do that, you're gonna have a 100% success rate.